this MK Fresh, it's time I see my tech scene, Olaf says, Kayla, I'm going to start in, I see my tech scene, I'm out here, all the way in Medran, but my home, it's not a store, guys, it's actually uh, my homie, homie spot, uh, my big homie, Mark Mac, the OG in the sneaker game, what I play at. Chill it, chill it, chill it, chill it, chill it, chill it. Chill it, chill it. Well, how do you feel now that we made it this, this, this night? <laughs> because this nah, is man. the biggest sneaker show in, in SA right now. Yeah, yeah. You know, like the kids nah, talking mean, about it. I'm, uh... I'm honored, what can I say, you know, Dope. feel blessed. Dope. Yeah. Tell me where it starts, man, the whole game. Because um, I know you're originally from Durban. Yeah, for uh, sure. Yeah, tell us a little bit about, like, growing out there and... Yeah, for sure. So, um, like, middle class family. Dope. So, we probably got kicks uh, every, every Christmas or once a year. Yeah. You know, Christmas shopping. Yeah, yeah. You gotta look fly for Christmas. Exactly. So, you, you take that opportunity to try and get the kicks you want, but then the folks are like, nah, those are too expensive. Yeah. How it started for me is, um, you know, just wanting to have these pair of kicks which yeah. you couldn't really get. Yeah. So I, I, I suppose I started buying my own sneakers. Yeah. Um, what, was the big, what was the big influence there? Was it like, you know, people in the neighborhood? Or, yeah, you know, so, so the street culture back then, that was just an influence. So it was all about, the, um, I suppose, the, the street culture yeah. was khaki. Yeah. Uh, skid groups, D you know, BBDs, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And then now, what, what do you currently uh, do? Um, well, I have a corporate gig. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm in a corporate business. Um, yeah. So that's my nine to five. What do you, what do you do? Um, well, basically, I'm, I'm, I'm an engineer. Cool. Uh, but because you, 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 you know why I want to say that? Because sometimes, you know, there's always this cool factor with the shoes. And, uh, you know, well, most people follow you on Instagram. Yeah, they yeah. see you cropping all these yeah, crazy yeah. pairs. And, you know, for a kid, you don't see where, where the hard work is coming from. Yeah, so how, how do you feel? How do you feel about that? No, I mean I think it's really important. So, so to be fair, I probably started. I mean I'd always loved sneakers. Um, I lived overseas, yeah. um, and when I lived overseas, I'd always cop. But you know it wasn't those exclusive pairs. Yeah. That you, you couldn't really. Um, that I suppose I wouldn't really buy them now because yeah. uh, you know, now I buy the exclusive pairs. Yeah. But back then I still collect, but it would be like sort of an entry level, mid level, you know, yeah. um, priced uh, kicks because. I, I couldn't really afford um, to buy those uh, tier ones, let's call them those, yeah, those yeah. kicks. Yeah. Because these things cost a lot of money, yeah. you know. Yeah. Um, so the kids need to understand essentials. So like you, right now we're sitting in my crib, Yeah. you know. Um, it's not a shop, huh? guys, let's still repeat that. Yeah. <laughs> it's not just about it's the flyers, It's not just about right? the kicks though, because you have to have essentials. Yeah. So, you know, like I always talk about it and I always say these kids, um, that are out in Santon almost every every second week, yeah. trying to cop, and they cost like 2k a pair. Yeah. And then the guy gets to the store using public transport. Yeah. And in my mind, I'm like, yo, you could probably afford a car. Yeah. You know, if you took that 2k a month, you could probably buy a decent car, you know? Yeah. So um, the thing of it is the hype. Yeah. You know, like, some and right now, like what, what I kind of see even with the industry is like people are buying shoes because they're hyped up and they're not buying shoes to be exact yeah. what they like. You exactly. know, it's like, yo, I like this shoe because, or one, two, three, you know, I just like it because everybody thinks it's an yeah. important drop. Yeah, I mean, for me, it's like, for me, um, if I like something, I buy it, you know, it's not like these are Kobe's or these are LeBron's, yeah. that's why I need to get them. Yeah. You know, for me, if I like a pair of sneakers, it could be whatever. Yeah. Um, if I like them, I'd cop them. I go with like Jordans, one to thirteen. Yeah. That's my that's my thing. Yeah. So from one to thirteen, I probably have like all of them in that range. Yeah. And, you know. So tell me the, the other ones you don't like. Why? Nah, I, I just like the, the 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 kicks that. For me, again, it's about uh, the legacy. Yeah. For me, it's it's either hip hop. Or sports and entertainment. Yeah. You know, so when Jordan came on, I mean, it's so cliche. Mm. Like everybody's like, ah, I saw the guy flying through the sky, and yeah. flying through the air and dunking, and I wanted to be like Jordan. Now, yeah. For me, it's just about the legacy. Oh. You know, so like some people collect cars, yeah. some people collect stamps. Yeah. I collect sneakers. Dope. Tell me a little bit about the journey between you coming from Durban and your overseas and then Joburg. Yeah, so like I said, um, you know, just living abroad for, like, I'd say for most part of the year. Yeah. I lived in Germany. Yeah. Um, 2003, actually, to be exact, it was the year my son was born. Cool. Um, so it was like 12 years ago when I got back to Durban. 
it's really hard to find like a like a decent job because people always look at your your past job as yeah. as a reference. Yeah. So it was really hard to to try and get back into the industry. Yeah. Um, and there was an opportunity, you know, in Johannesburg, and I moved here in 2006. Dope. So you know, in between. Um, I just hustled and did my own thing, you know, for like two years. Nice. And then we moved here in 2006 and then I just brought myself, you know. Yo, 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 yo. Alright man, this is Hunter for Kicks. Obviously, you know, we know who Mac Mac is right now. We want to know what Mac Mac's got in the, in the shoe game. The three lab fives. So tell yeah. me what, what, what sold you there? Well, you know, um, these ones I actually uh, was hunting out in Barcelona. Dope. A store actually that still has the Canton packs. Oh, actually, wow. you can still buy them right now. Yeah. Um, um, so I got, I got like one or two pairs of those. And then when I saw these, I was like, yo, I've got to have these, man. Yeah. I just put them on and literally I didn't take them off, I think, for probably like four days. From Barcelona, I spent, I spent like a few days in Lisbon. Yeah. So I literally had them on since I left Barcelona. That's um, good, man. And what, what else what really uh, excited you about the shoe? No, I mean, just the elements. Like, uh, for me... Elephant print. Yeah, the elephant. So the reason it's called the, the three labs yeah. is obviously the elephant print comes from the Jordan 3s. Yeah. Um, a five silhouette for me is, is, is probably... Uh, one of the better looking shoes, you know, the, the sharp tooth. Yeah. Um, yeah, just like the whole design. And with the air bubble going on out 100%. there, I see out there. You know, so you combo with a pink, you know, pink shirt. And that's it, black and pink. So It's over. All right. So that's it. Jordan 5, combined with the lab, hunting for kicks. We just cooled you a little bit there. Normal Air Force 180s. 180s. You know. You know why, uh, why the 180s? Because, uh, you know, kids know Air Force Ones, but these are called Air Force Ones 180s for, for a reason. Why, why did you, why did you, what were you enticed so much about the shoe? Well, for me, I mean, I just like the silhouette of the shoe, to be fair. I mean, the fact that it has an air bubble that goes, I mean, it's, it's built on a 180 technology. Yeah. It's just, it's just a bonus, you know. Yeah. So what made you buy this specifically, not the whole pack? Um, I think... I think these appeal to me more. Definitely the old yeah, no, I mean, I think these <laughs> appeal to me more. Like, if you look at people that collect stamps, for example, yeah. coins, yeah. they're always looking for that pair that's imperfect. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So something that doesn't match. Yeah. Now, I know you got these, like, everybody's got these. Yeah. Uh, but if you, if you take a closer look, yeah. uh, you see on the, on the right pair, you know, the F, Air Force 180s is the right way up over there. Yeah. And when you go to the left pair, yeah. it's flipped. So that's like a factory default, if you want to call it that, or factory fault. Yeah. And for me, I mean, that's that was most appealing, you know. Um, I got these joints in Durban. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, people but sleep. The, the, the Durban outlet is like, like a coal mine. Cats sleep out there, so you know, the first thing I do when I drive into Durban is check out the Nike store. Cool. Um, and it was one of those, you know. So. I, and I know I these the shoes part. were made as well popular by uh, uh, Barkley. Yeah. So. You know, two pairs of, of kicks, so, you know, Jordan, yeah. Barkley, best friends. Yeah. You know, Jordan was always like the good guy. Yeah. Um, and if you've ever seen any interviews with, with, with Barkley, you'd see oh, that. Barkley, he just I says whatever you want to say, you know. Yeah. Uh, and Barkley so was, always, just, uh, was also on a dream team uh, Yeah, for up, sure. Yeah? yeah, for sure. It was, uh, like, I don't know the whole team. Yeah. You know, I just, uh, I mean, I know a bit of the history of the shoe, but for me, it's just the fact that I like the silhouette. I mean, look at that, uh, you know, ahead of its times. You feel me? That's Mug Mac, the 180, Air Force Ones. So, we out here in the lobby where Pop got shot. NK Fresh, you tell us in my take scene, Mug Mac, all right, too. I appreciate you. Thank you for dinner. Thank you for, you know, hosting us in the, pleasure, pleasure, in the shop. <laughs> Thank you, family. Blessings. Away. Away. One, one, one.